and welcome to episode 115 of Lisburn Distillery TV, which is our first episode of 2020. So can we start by wishing all of our viewers a happy and peaceful new year. Now that's out of the way, let's get on with today's show, which includes highlights from our recent league encounter against Ali United, an interview with the December Dunville's Whiskey Player of the Month, and also some information on a share launch, which is going to be happening very soon. Okay then, let's get going and head straight over to the match highlights from last Saturday's match at home to Anna United. Anna arrived at New Grosvenor top of the table, having only lost one game all season, so this was always going to be a massive test for the Whites. Let's see how they get on. Here's the highlights. <laughs> Okay, less said about that one, the better. On the day, let's be honest, we were totally pummeled by a top side and one who seemed well on the way to claiming the Premier and immediate league title. Sometimes you just have to hold your hands up and admit a side were better all over the park than the distillery, and on this occasion, Anna fully deserved their win on the day. For us, it's back to the drawing board, dust ourselves down, and hopefully get back to winning ways this weekend. If we have a look now at the rest of the results from Saturday, we can see that there are also wins for Newington who defeated Banbridge, Bangor who beat Limavady, and Darlingstown who won against Myota Park. Looking now at the updated league table, we can see that Anna's win sees them move 5 points clear at the top of the table, with the Whites remaining in 6th place, but now 12 points off the summit. Okay, it's time now for a monthly interview with the Dunville's Whiskey Player of the Month, which for December was defender Chris Getty. David Hunter caught up with Chris after Saturday's game, and here's what he had to say on winning the award. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the first award of 2020, and a Happy New Year from everyone at Distillery Football Club and the Ecknerville Distillery. Uh, sitting patiently beside me, I'm pleased to say, is the Dunbills Whiskey Player of the Month for December 2019, Chris Getty. Chris, congratulations, relax. Um, well done on the award. Uh, what's your reaction to picking it up today? Uh, it's a privilege, to be honest. I think the whole back four, um, including Jonah, back five, you want to call it, has been consistently good the last couple of months, to be honest. Um, so really, any one of us could get it. Uh, so... Thankful, thankful I'm the one that got it this time. 
You've come strong in recent weeks, Chris. I take you back to an interview that uh, you and I had for the programme. You commented at that stage about coming late into the club, mm. taking a bit of time to find your feet. I think it's fair to say you have found your feet. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been fairly enjoying how I've been playing. Um, the guys I'm playing alongside make it a lot easier as well. Um, also, always helps. Um, but yeah, consistency. Um, we've, we've all set up the same way. Uh, bleeds bleeds a bit more relaxed in the back four. We all know what we're doing. Um, we all know what each other's doing. Um, so it's it's been good the last while, yeah. To be fair, um, well, probably even worse than that, uh, it was a disastrous result today against uh, Anna United. But there's still quite a number of games to go in the season. Um, we have the intermediate coming up next Saturday. Chris, we're away to Bambridge Town. Your thoughts just looking ahead as we uh, bounce back from today's defeat. Well, as you said, today is very, very disappointing. The whole, uh, the whole change room's very disappointing and down. So, it's a matter of getting ourselves up for next week. Um, away to Banbridge, uh, we played them earlier on the season. I think it nil nil was it finished? Yes, well, that's right. Uh, yeah. Tough, tough battle. Um, tough place to go. So, hopefully, the boys can get the result. Unfortunately, I'll be missing the game um, due to other commitments. Um, but I'm positive the guys will pick themselves up and, and go again, and we'll get another result and get into the next, next round. Sorry. Yeah, great. Okay, Chris, congratulations on the award uh, again. Well done. Uh, as I say, since we had that interview, you've really steadied yourself at the back and deserved winner in December. Um, our thanks to our friends at Ecklenville for their continued sponsorship of uh, the monthly award. It's a, it's a great prize as always. And we'll be back in February with the January winner. Two thousand and twenty is an historical year for our club, and that it's hundred and forty years since our first game as a football club, which to put into some sort of context is thirty years before the Titanic was built. Lots to celebrate then and there were lots of different events over the course of the year to mark the occasion. The first of which sees the launch of Lisburn Distillery hundred and fortieth anniversary shares within the club. These shares will be available at the cost of five pounds each, but a minimum purchase of twenty five pounds is required. Further details on this will be available on the club website and social media over the next few days, but we would encourage as many supporters as possible to get involved in purchasing shares. So that concludes today's show, but just before we do go, a reminder that our next game is this Saturday, that's January the 18th, when we travel to take on Bambridge Town in the Intermediate Cup. Supporters should note that the earlier kickoff time of this one is at 1.30pm and there'll also be a supporters bus going to the game. Details of this can be found once again on social media and the club website. In the meantime, thanks again for watching today's show and for your ongoing support for Lisburn Distillery Football Club. Until the next time, it's bye for now and don't forget, come on you whites. <laughs>